on with our calculations using solutions and we're going to give you an example of a typical titration calculation. This is the sort of question you could get in an exam. So if we have a look at it, a student found that it takes 15 centimetres cubed of 0.5 moles per decimetre cubed of hydrochloric acid to neutralise 10 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide. So this is an acid alkali titration. Question, what is the concentration of sodium hydroxide? So you remember from the previous blogs, we use moles equals concentration times volume, and we have to have the balanced chemical equation, which will be given to you in the question. All right. What does that tell you, Miss McLaren? Now, this chemical equation gives you lots of vital information. Mm -hmm. So it's mentioned sodium hydroxide, which is this one. Hydrochloric acid is that one. It's completely balanced, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, Dr. Yep. Bourne. And we have a ratio of one to one. And again, because there's no numbers, you know it's one. So I can now say we have one mole or we'll neutralize one mole. And do note I'm ignoring the sodium chloride because that's not included in the question. We're Is that correct? Absolutely. absolutely, we're not interested. We now know that the same number of moles of hydrochloric acid will neutralise the same number of moles of sodium hydroxide. And that's our key piece of information. Perfect. Now, if you also remember, what was the little formula we used for working out the number of moles, Mr. Taran? It was my CV. My CV. Mm. Moles equals concentration times volume. So you've got some of the information in the question, but obviously not all of it. So if you write my CV, moles, concentration, volume, down the side of the page, underneath the chemical equation, you can fill in from the question the bits of information that you've already got, and then you'll be able to work out the rest. Excellent. So, would you like to start, Miss McLaren, right. starting with the hydrochloric oh, acid? Well, the first thing is I'm going to look at the question, I'm going to look at actually the information and mm -hmm. find out what gives me most information okay. on either of the solutions. Right. So I can see it's hydrochloric acid because we have 15 cm cubed. Oh, now, I just want to point something out. You're filling that in. This is a very easy thing to do under the sodium hydroxide column. Oh my god, so you mean I made that's a something we have to be aware of. So if you're looking at hydrochloric acid, you have to fill it in under this column. I'm so glad you pointed that out. I know, I thought point. you would be. Yes. So we have 15 cm cubed. Yeah. And the concentration is 0.5. Mm -hmm. Another mistake. Oh, good. Two Lord. mistakes. 0.5 moles per decimeter. Cubed. Lovely. Can you? Now, I did listen to your last log. Lovely. And you have to convert 15 cm cubed into dm cubed. And that would be 15 over 1,000. Right, because C to D, D divide. So centimetres to decimetres cubed, D divide. Lovely. Then so. I'm going to be using your formula. So M equals C times V. So and I've actually done this. This is the space you're going to fill in now. Oh, thank yeah. you. And you can see the number of moles would be the concentration times the volume. So that is CV, and that gives you the number of moles, which is 0 0.0075. Excellent. So if you could fill that in in the hydrochloric acid box. Lovely. Now... That, because we know the ratio is one to one, how many moles of sodium hydroxide would be required to neutralise that? That's going to make a mistake this time. No third mistake. Okay. So I think it's 0 0.0075. Is that correct, excellent. Dr. Bond? Absolutely excellent. Very good indeed, because it's the same number of moles. Now, excellent. back to the question. What is the concentration of sodium hydroxide? Mm. You've got the moles... You're trying to work out the concentration. So and that's the one you don't know. Exactly. So what other piece of information do you need? Well, again, we look at the question and we can see we've got the volume of sodium hydroxide, mm -hmm. which is 10 cm cubed. Ah. 
Lovely, good. So what do you have to do with that? Well, if we look at our triangle, mm -hmm. it's really useful as a triangle, concentration is equal to moles divided by volume. Lovely. And the volume's in cm cubed, so again, I have to divide that by a thousand. Very good. So let's put 10 divided by a thousand, mm -hmm. and if I work that out, that gives me 0 0.01 dm cubed. Is that correct, Dr. Bourne? It is. Fabulous. 0 0.01 dm cubed. So what now is the calculation you need to do to get the concentration? Moles divided by volume. So concentration equals moles divided by volume. So the number of moles is 0.0075 divided by the, uh, the volume. volume. Yeah, good. Oh, that was a third mistake, mm -hmm. which is 0.001. Now, hang on, can we just check that again? Oh. How many zeros? Now that is a very common mistake. It's very common that people put the wrong number of zeros after the decimal points. I'm glad you did that because that's a warning to all. So let's re put that in. So what is it now? 0.01. It yeah. was a deliberate mistake. Obviously, obviously, all these are deliberate mistakes. So can we do that without a calculator? If not, plug it into your calculator and the yes. answer will be 0.75. Back to the question, it's concentration. So look at my units. It must be moles per dm cubed. Moles per dm cubed. And yeah. that's our answer. Perfect. I think that what calculation was easy peasy. Lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy.